Okay, here's the grid of numbers. For, here's me hiding behind the grid of numbers. Uh, we saw some geometry of this grid, but there were so many patterns and delightful surprises in this grid that uh, we should mention some of them. Now, one of them we're going to do right now is called the stocking property, or the hockey stick property, or the sock property. And it goes as follows. So choose any column or any row. We'll choose a column, say so maybe we'll choose this column right here. And when you're way down, start at the top one, go down for a while, and when you're ready, just turn 90 degrees, but turn 90 degrees away from the start. So we'll turn hook like that and make a sock. So there's a sock. And what we're going to do is add up the numbers in the leg of that sock, or stocking, or hockey stick, however you want to think of this. 1 plus 3 is uh, 4, plus 6 makes 10, plus another 10 makes 20, plus 15 makes 35. So the numbers in the leg of the sock happen to add to the number in the toe of the sock. 35, 35. Now do this any way you like. Maybe I'll do this along this way. Come along for a while, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and then when you're ready, turn 9 degrees away from start, boom! 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is indeed 10. Or 1 plus 4 plus 10 plus 20 plus 35, uh-oh, uh, 5, uh, 15, 35 plus another 35 makes 70. Zoom, boom, 70. Even come along the extremes. Uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, turn 90 degrees away from start. Uh, six ones do indeed add up to the number in the toe. Six, and so on. So that's the hockey stick property. So the question is, why is that true? Now, I've, I've kept my uh, picture kind of uncomplicated because I'm about to make it really messy trying to explain why this is going on. In fact, I'll explain this very specific example, but the idea you'll see works in general. The idea is we need to explain why is this 35, this number in the toe, the sum of all the numbers in the leg of that stocking? Well, think about it. That 35, what is that 35 really? Well, it's really, from the geometry of the grid, the sum of the 15 and the 20 around it. So it's really this, this 15 plus this 20. But rather than I think about this 20 directly, I'm going to ask, well, what's that 20 really? Well, that 20 is really the sum of the two numbers around it, that 10 and that 10. So it's this 10 and that 10. But what's that 10 really? Well, that 10 is really this 6 and that 4. But what's that 4 really? It's really that 3 and that 1. What's that 1 really? Now, if you like, I can think of that as that, as, as that 1 plus that blank. So actually, when I go 35 is 15 plus 20, but replace 20 by 10 plus 10, but replace 10, that 10 by 6 plus 4, but replace that 4 by 3 plus 1, but replace that 1 by that 1 and that blank, what I've really done here is written 35 as the sum of those underlined numbers, the numbers in the leg of that stocking. Whoa. In fact, we'll do it one more time just to make sure we've really got it. For example, uh, I know, let's do a juicy one. Like, let's do this. Come in this row here, turn 9 degrees away from the start, gives me this sum here, apparently adds up to 126. Well, that way doing arithmetic, why does it have to be true? Well, I'll reason as follows. Let's get a yellow pen this time. That 126 in the toe is really this 70 plus this 56. But what's that 70 really? Well, that 70 is really that 35 plus this 35. But rather, work with, rather than work with that 35, let's work with it as 15 and that 20. But rather than think of 15, let's think of 5 plus 10. But not use the 5, let's actually use a 1 and a 4 instead. But let's not use that one, let's use this blank and this one. So in the end, 126 is 56 plus 70 that got replaced by 35 plus 35, which got replaced by 20 plus 15, which got replaced by 10 and 5, which got replaced by 4 and 1, which got replaced by 1 and blank. Ah. Net result, that 126 must indeed be the sum of numbers in that leg. Grand. All right, so read the text below this video, have some fun with it, think deeply about it, discover other patterns in this. We'll explore more in the next few videos for sure. There's lots going on in this particular grid of numbers. Thanks.